What about institutions that want to buy businesses across business lines, um, um, commercial banks or universal banks that buy into insurance companies, into securities, uh, and other businesses? Um, how does Basel III apply uh, for multifaceted business lines? Uh, it's very clear that, that Basel III has, has the rule of you know, treating risk consistently. And uh, in order to avoid, for instance, double jeering, uh, we are asking for the deduction of, of participation in insurance companies. That, that can be tough for those banks that are more in the bank assurance sector, although we have, I mean, uh, kind of some, some special treatment, uh, some limits. But generally speaking, uh, this can be tough for those, some banks that have this type of business model. The reality is that if we want to avoid double jeering, that is the same capital is used to cover two risks, uh, there's no way out of, of, of dealing with, with this that, than being tough. Huh? Uh, is this going to impact business models? Yes, but uh, our, our intention is not to impact business model. Our intention is to treat risks in a consistent manner so that uh, you know the higher the risk, the higher the capital. Uh, if in, in the case of, of participation in other uh, financial firms, avoid the problem of double jeering that the same capital is used to cover risk in, in two different sectors. Is there a reality that exists in emerging markets which is essentially different from developed markets or markets that are not financial centers which are net recipients of capital and uh, markets which are essentially net producers of capital? I, I don't see this, this th sometimes you hear this thing of Basel III being designed by for, for developed countries rather, rather than emerging markets. I, I don't see like that. I think that what we are doing is uh, designing a system that is safer and probably saving some emerging markets from the mistakes that we have done. For instance, take the, the issue of quality of capital. Quality of capital is not an issue in many emerging countries, in particular in Asia. Why? Because the road towards hybrid capital instruments was a road taken by the developed countries and, and by the financial institutions in those countries. What we are doing now is telling Asia, don't go into the direction of hybrid capital instrument because we can tell you, because of our experience, that is not a good idea. So we are saving, you know, Asia, the experience that we have had of going into the road of hybrid capital instruments just to discover that they were not uh, acting as we thought they would act in a crisis. So I don't see this as a competing thing. Eh? On the contrary, I think that what is good for a bank in, in a developed country should be good for a bank in an emerging country because in the end, the bank in the emerging country is going to get closer to the bank in the in the developed country. I don't see this type of contradictions. Eh? And in the particular area of, of, of uh, quality of capital, that's very clear that uh, we are saving, you know, a lot of emerging markets, the bad experience that we have had with hybrid capital instruments. Jose Maria Rodden, this is a continuing conversation. I think we'll pause at this point and I'd like to talk to you again at some point in the future. In the future and where we can take this conversation forward. Yeah, let's see where Basel III takes us. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Nice talking to you again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.